changing 10 lines of code, you can put your own algorithm in production. Hi, Smart Traders, it's Lucas from Contreo. In this video, I will show you how to put your strategy in live trading using MetaTrader 5 and Python. Let's get started. Welcome to this channel where we help data scientists and traders to customize their trading strategies to increase their profitability. There is a new video each Monday and each Friday, so if you like our work, don't hesitate to subscribe and like the video. For the next video, I think it will be great to explain all the process of an algorithmic trading project, so tell me in the comments if you also run two or if you want another video. This video aims to give you a template and show you how our code works to give you the possibility to customize it depending on your need. We have created a class containing function exactly like a library to put your strategy in live trading. Let me show you the first function which will allow us to get the stock price directly from our broker. The most important function is the initialize function for MetaTrader 5, because it is this function that establishes the connection between the Python sheet and your MetaTrader 5 platform. It is essential to understand that the MetaTrader 5 Python library is not an API, but just a library that can control the MetaTrader 5 platform from your Python sheet. Then we extract the current date using the datetime library. And we use the copy range from function to import the data. It demands as input the symbol, for example, Euro USD, and it's necessary to have the symbol into your market watch. The time frame, for example, MT5 point time frame D1, which is the daily interval. The date from which we will take and previous data, for example, the 1st January 2021. It means that we take end data before the 1st January 2021. And N, which is the number of data that we want to import, for example, 3500. Before returning the data, it's necessary to transform the tuple rates into a data frame, then transform the date into a date format and specify the format of the date. And we set the time columns as index. Now, let me show you the order function. This function has four roles. Open a buy contract, close a buy contract, open a sell contract, or close a sell contract. In parameters, we need to specify the symbol, the volume, if it is a buy or a sell position. So if buy is true, it means that we will work on a buy contract, and if buy is false, we work on a sell contract. And the ID of the position if you want to close it. If ID position is equal to none, it means that we open a contract. And if ID position is a position ID, it means to close this position. This function is decomposed in three main parts. The initialization of the necessary variable, ask price, etc. and the filling mode. I just want to do a focus on this variable because it is the most unknown. There are three values for a filling mode and the correct filling mode depends on the asset. So we need to extract it for each asset. Send an open trade if ID position is equal to none, and there are two possibilities, open a buy or a sell contract. So depending on the order, we need to put the correct stop loss and take profit. And send a close order if ID position is equal to a current position ID. And for each case, we always take the return of the request because it is very informative if we have some issues. Now, let's talk about the resume function. This function is not really complicated, but it's probably the most useful. Indeed, it's mandatory to have such a function in your toolbox because it allows us to have all the current open position even if the Python sheet shuts down for any reason. 
It means that this function will enable us to have access to the position anytime to close them eventually. This function fits an algorithm that opens a position with a fixed interval and does not use a momentum strategy. It means that each day we create a signal and we verify if the previous contract, if there is one, isn't in the same way before opening a position because we don't want to have hidden leverage. There are a lot of comments in this function because it's this function that will return all the information about our algorithm. This function is also very simple but so essential. Indeed, if you have any difficulties, doubts or anything, you have the possibility to close all the positions and eventually to automatize this process. Now, let me show you a little template and how to use it very easily. You just need to change one function in all the code, giving us the buy and the sell signal depending on your own strategy. You can also change the symbol that you want to trade and the volume. Then you can run the code and see your orders on the MetaTrader 5 platform. It means that by changing 10 lines of code, you can put your own algorithm in production. Before we finish this video, you need to make sure that you have a Windows device to use the MetaTrader 5 Python library. If you have a Mac, let me show you some possibilities to have access to a Windows device. First, you can install an application like Parallel Desktop. This application allows you to emulate a Windows desktop on your Mac. You can install Windows on your Mac in another session using Bootcamp. Or you can also use a VPS, but VPS is more used for live trading production, not development.